Hey guys, it's Hadley and we're back with Dorm Dishes. I'm Deanna, we're making a mug pizza. Don't worry, it's not a criminal. It just might mug your taste buds. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our pizza crust. So we are gonna take one fourth cup all-purpose flour and put it into a microwave safe uh, ramekin or like mug. We're gonna add one fourth teaspoon oregano and then all of your next ingredients are gonna be one eighth teaspoon. So it's gonna be baking soda, baking powder, salt, and garlic powder. So I think this is gonna be great and it's gonna be super easy. I mean, who, sometimes you don't wanna order a pizza. It's, you don't need a whole pizza. You just want a little tiny pizza and you can make it yourself in your microwave. It makes it super easy. Yeah, and you can like play with all the toppings and stuff. All right, so we're gonna mix all of that together. All right, and what are our wet ingredients? Okay, now we're gonna start with our wet ingredients. We have extra virgin olive oil, and it's gonna be one tablespoon that you're gonna to add to your dry ingredients. Did you know a fun fact is that olive oil is really, really healthy for you, and there's a certain kind, and I actually take two tablespoons every day. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes not very good in the mouth, though, if you just, I'd mix it in orange juice. Mmm, you get to mask the, it's, is it the smell that smells the worst, or is it the taste? It's the texture of oil running around that in your mouth. True. That is true. So you're going to take, make three tablespoons of water and mix it in there with your dry ingredients. So we've already done one. Watch me, like, not spill it everywhere. Okay, Whoa. Two. I guess, let me do it closer to the. So yeah, if you guys are ever feeling like you're in a bad mood, take some olive oil. It's actually a real thing. It'll change your mindset completely. It you does. Won't even, you won't even be thinking about what you're upset No. I always wondered why Italians were so happy, and I think it's all the olive oil they use. Or maybe the fact that they live in Italy. I think it's the second one. <laughs> Trying to sell olive oil over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mix all that together. And it's kind of like a dough-like texture. That's our crust. Okay, now that we have our crust all mixed together and you guys saw how delicious it's already looking, mm -hmm. we're gonna add our pizza sauce. So we are going to just get a spoon of our fine china and just layer the pizza sauce right over it and kind of like spread it around like so. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're just spreading it and cover a good layer of it. Fun, I don't really like that much pizza sauce. I don't either. I feel like if you add too much pizza sauce, it takes away from your crust and your cheese and all you taste is tomatoes. Yeah, so I just so. did a little bit of that. So we are going to now add our cheese. I am a cheese girl. I love cheese. Good okay. cheese? I love cheese. What's your favorite kind of cheese? That's a good one. I'd say the either the mozzarella or the um, sharp cheddar, but it has to be shredded cheese. I am a big Parmesan fan. Yeah, I like Parmesan, but it has to be fresh Parmesan. It yeah. It has to be in the like um, little sprinkle container. Yeah, no, that stuff fresh. is just not very good. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> so we're going to add our mozzarella cheese. It's shredded and just layer it on top. And I make a mess. That's fine. We should have a, like a studio dog. That way we can just let it pick up everything. Ooh, that looks good. That looks really good. We have more cheese. I mean, I don't think that's ever been a crime. No, a bit this is a mug criminal. <laughs> okay. So mm -hmm. now we're gonna use our strong muscles to open up the pepperoni. And it only calls for six, but you, I feel like you can never have too many pepperoni. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I like pepperoni too. The pizza pie. Have you ever made um, fresh pizza, like making the dough yourself? Yeah, so my mom actually got a pizza oven for Christmas and we have to start the dough three days before we want the pizza. Really? Yeah, and then it's like an actual pizza oven. It's amazing. Thank you. Okay, so we have our sauce, cheese, pepperonis layered magically. 
And now we are ready for the microwave. Okay, so now we're ready for the microwave and we are going to put our pizza in and cook it for a minute and 30 seconds to start out with. Um, this part just kind of varies because you don't know how hot your microwave might get. So just look to see if you can get see the cheese getting bubbly and see the dough kind of get crispy on the sides. This one just happens to have a pizza button. Yeah, we're fancy like that. Okay. We just have to wait and watch. I, it's going to smell so good. So we have our finished product. It ended up taking us how long? About five minutes. You just kind of have to watch it and see when your cheese does get bubbly and you can kind of start to see your crust. And it will get a little bit bigger. Ours kind of mm -hmm. rose a little bit. So now we have our cameraman going to come in and help us taste test our final product. Hey, guys. Hey, Jonathan. Hey. How you guys doing? That's for Jonathan. Nice. It's not. <laughs> it's okay, I'm kidding. Okay. 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 You go first. Why are we oh. all scared? Well, I was gonna. I feel like it's gonna be kind of warm. Well, I got my pepperonis that I wanted. Okay. You want oh, cheese? The extra cheese and pepperoni were a killer move. I'll take that. That was so I smart. Okay. All right. All right, guys, are you ready? Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. That's really hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hot. It's so hot. Man, those flavors are melting on my tongue. I can't tell if it's that or the heat of the pizza. It's taking away all my taste. <laughs> This was such a great pizza. I would highly recommend making this. It is this. really good. It is. Good. It actually is really good. Like, it cooked completely through, too. I would say do it longer than the minute 30. I think that's a good starting point. Well, but unless, unless you like gooey pizza. Like yeah, pizza. yeah. But honestly, this is really good. I would pick it as a midnight mm -hmm. snack for sure. And you can play with the recipe. I like pineapple on pizza, so next time I'm gonna throw some pineapple on there. You don't even have to use pepperoni, you just add whatever you want. Yeah. So what would you guys rate this out of 10? I would give this one a 9.1. I give it a nine. No, I, I give it an 8.9. Mm-hmm. And I'll also give it a nine, so. Yeah, perfect. Well, thank you for joining us. Yes, the magic all happens because of Jonathan. So we love to feed him and try not to burn the mouth, his mouth off. But well, thank you guys for joining us this semester. Look back here next semester for more dorm dishes. Bye. So you guys want to tell the camera what happened? It was the best thing we've made all semester. Oh yeah, by far. And we kind of couldn't help ourselves. Yeah. Um, finished it off. It's all gone. <laughs> it was so good. Our editor in chief finishing the last <laughs> bite. Chef's kiss, let me tell you. That was so good.